Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you the 2024 Kia Seltos LX. The LX is the base trim. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the features this Kia Seltos has. Under the hood there is a 2.0 naturally aspirated four cylinder engine. It is connected to an IVT transmission. This engine produces 146 horsepower and 132 pound-feet of torque. If you guys are interested in more power, then you have to go with the higher trims. The higher trims will have 195 horsepower and it will be a 1.6 turbocharged four-cylinder engine. Fuel economy numbers on this engine, 27 in the city, 31 highway and 29 combined. Here is a MSRP sticker of this 2024 Kia Seltos. If you guys are interested in the standard features this one has, just go ahead and pause the video. I know it's going to be a little bit hard to see. But those are the standard features the Seltos has. Fusion Black is an additional $395 option. It is very hard to see because of the reflection. Price is... 26,285 for destination. This Fusion Black looks amazing on this base trim. And coming to the front, I like the way how the grille looks like. If you guys go for the S trim, which is one trim above this uh, LX trim, you're going to get the LED daytime running light in this place. So on this base trim, uh, you're getting just a brushed aluminum uh, trim for the headlight headlight housing looks good every single trim will have halogen headlight and the sx will have led uh, headlights and for the turn signal indicators they are halogen as well i love this brushed aluminum grill i love the texture on this brushed aluminum uh, part the grille is finished in flat black and yeah overall I think the front end looks good and as I said guys this doesn't even look like a base trim so I think Kia did a great job with the uh, design and overall uh, with the way how this Seltos looks like right here this is not a vent usually most of the cars will have like an opening right here to let air out but in this Seltos it's closed and uh, it is finished in gloss black with some brushed aluminum. I really like this lower part. Uh, there's a bottom grill and it's very, it's hidden. Uh, I think Kia did a great job with the way how uh, this lower grill uh, looks like. You can't really see it uh, when you're um, far away, but when you go down, uh, you'll be able to see that. I love the brushed aluminum and I think overall the design looks good. And yeah, as I said, guys, this thing doesn't look like a base trim and uh, that's what I like about this LX Seltos. Here is a side view of this Kia Seltos and as I said guys this thing doesn't even look like a base trim and that's why I like this LX Seltos. The Seltos competes against the Honda HRV and the Toyota Corolla Cross, the Trail Blazer from Chevy. So there is a good amount of competitors in this segment and uh, those subcompact SUVs are definitely getting bigger so the size of those SUVs uh, definitely grown over the year and this subcompact SUV has 7.3 inches of ground clearance getting in and out is super easy and uh, for the rims they look very good they are finished in gray the size is 215 55 17 so there's a good amount of rubber and of course that equals to more comfort I will be taking the Seltos on a PUV test drive uh, and tell you what I think about this SUV. All the window trims are finished in black, which I like. And uh, there is a turn signal indicator on uh, the fender. And on the roof, there is no roof rails, no sunroof, because this is the base trim. But let's go ahead and move to the back. And I'll show you the back view of this Seltos. Here is the back of the Seltos. And honestly, I think the back looks pretty good. I really like this continuous tail light design. Kia logo in the back, finished in brushed aluminum. For the tail lights, not everything back here is LED. The running light and the turn signal indicators and reverse are halogen, but the brake light is LED. Here is the third brake light. Spoiler looks good, nothing crazy, but definitely adds a nice uh, look to the back of this SUV. Here is the back wiper and 
Here is the all-wheel drive badge. Right here on the left, it does say Seltos. It's spelled out or written in a nice uh, design, so the font looks good. I like the diffuser. It is finished in brushed aluminum. The bumper is finished in black. And reverse and reflectors are right there. And yeah, overall, I think design looks pretty good in the back. And um, yeah, this SUV looks pretty good from every single angle. And it does have that almost like floating roof design. But yeah, overall, I think um, the side view, the front and the back of the Seltos look good. Here's a key of this Kia Seltos. Honestly, key looks good, has a really nice weight to it. And um, it is finished in flat black and chrome. Three buttons right here on the side, lock, unlock, and a panic button. It does have a uh, key. So to turn on the SUV, you have to use uh, this key. It doesn't have push to start. Let's go ahead and unlock the SUV. To open the uh, tailgate, there's only one way and it is a button on the lift gate. So it doesn't have power uh, lift gate and that's expected from a base trim. Inside, there is actually a very good amount of space. Definitely much better than something like the Hyundai Kona. Nice, spacious. Loading floor is a little bit high, but honestly, um, I think it's perfect for getting things in and out. Underneath, there is a spare tire with a decent amount of storage place around this spare tire. Jack and jack tools are in the middle. There is a light right here on the left. And I really wish there was like a 12 volt back here, but again, this is a base trim, so I think that's okay. You could drop the seats down from those handles. Grabbing the seats is actually very easy. Let me see if I could push this more. Inside, there is definitely a good amount of space. Uh, this SUV looks small from the outside, but honestly, inside, there is a ton of space. Here is a front door panel. Front door panel looks actually not too bad. There is a good amount of plastic, which is expected for a base trim. So this is plastic right here. There is this flat black trim. I really wish that Kia gave us like a nicer trim. But again, this is a base trim, so I think that's fine. Plastic, the armrest is plastic. I really wish it was finished in cloth. In the bottom, this is plastic, which is completely fine. Decent amount of storage place in the bottom of this door. The speakers have a really nice design to them, and even the tweeter has the same design. Door handle feels nice and light, but it is nice and solid, so I like that. And for the window switches, mirror controls, everything looks okay. Nothing premium, nothing crazy. Um, just finished in plastic, and uh, they have actually a decent feel to them. For the seats, they're nice and comfortable, finished in cloth, of course, and they're manual uh, seats. I really wish they were powered for 25,000 before destination, but let's go ahead and move inside the Seltos, and I'll show you how it looks like from the inside. So here is the interior of this 2024 Kia Seltos base trim LX. This thing actually looks pretty good from the inside. It doesn't even feel like a base trim. And that's why I like this Kia Seltos. Again, guys, this Seltos competes against the Honda HRV, Chevy Trail Blazer, and Toyota Corolla Cross. So yeah, overall, I think interior looks good. Steering wheel is not wrapped in leather. It is uh, that synthetic rubber material and um, does have a good thickness to it for a base trim. Uh, Kia logo, of course, in the center, and uh, there's some brushed aluminum right here. Buttons are finished in brushed aluminum, flat black, and gloss black. Right here, there is the volume controls with a mute button, so if you push this button, it will mute uh, the radio. Voice command, phone controls, mode, and favorite. Right here on the right, there is the uh, steering assist, the cruise control, uh, this one does not have adaptive cruise control. There is an OK button right here. There is a button right here that will control the center screen. So the right 
and left are uh, basically digital, uh, but in the center, this screen right here is a 4.2 inch screen. I'm not exactly sure if both of those screens are equal to eight inches. There is an eight inch uh, screen right here. And yeah, the resolution is very good. When you change the drive modes, uh, this screen changes or graphics uh, change. But yeah, overall, I think the interior looks good. Uh, steering wheel has a nice um, feel to it and uh, it is extremely light in parking lots. Uh, this right here on the left is uh, for the headlight controls and turn signal controls and on the right is the wiper controls for the front and back and vent looks good. Right here there is a brightness control, um, engine shut off so when you come to a complete stop the engine will turn off and then traction control. Again guys, there is an eight inch screen. I think the screen looks good. I like the gloss black. There is hard buttons on the left and right, volume knob and a tune knob. And uh, Kia system is actually very nice. Um, it is nice and responsive and graphics look good. Um, with the smaller screens, you do get this um, basically design, but with the bigger screens, you do get a better looking uh, graphics. Again, guys, there's hard buttons on the left and right, track, setup, you'll have the radio, media, and favorite. And uh, this um, Celtus has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The vents look good. If you move the vent to the right, that will block the air. And I really like this uh, trim. I think it looks very good. It does have nice uh, texture to it. This right here is actually plastic, uh, which is completely fine. Emergency light button does flash when it's activated climate controls are very easy to use fan speed rare AC here is the temperature it is a one zone climate control modes extremely easy to use down here there is uh, two 12 volts and one USB and there is like a top shelf you could put your phone up there and here is the drive mode uh, there is empty buttons right here for the higher trims. I believe uh, those two buttons right here are for the, or those top big buttons are for the heated seats on the higher trims. Um, this shifter has a plus and minus, so you could basically shift your own gears. Uh, it is connected to an IVT transmission. Um, nice and responsive. I've driven Kia and Hyundai IVT transmissions and they are very impressive. There's a lock button right here. This will lock all the wheels so they all spin at the same time when you are stuck in snow or mud. Hill descent. And then you have a handbrake. Two cup holders, nice and big. The armrest is hard. It does have a little bit of softness to it. To it. And inside there is actually a decent amount of space for the glove box. It's nice and big. And here is the rear view mirror. Seeing out of the back is actually very, very good. I will be taking the Seltos on a POV test drive. So if you guys are interested in the uh, driving impressions, make sure to check out the POV test drive of this Seltos. There's no buttons underneath this mirror. Uh, by the way, the visibility is amazing. Mirrors are nice and big. Windows are nice and big. And as I said, seeing out of the back is perfect. There is halogen lights. This button right here will turn off the lights when the doors are open. And if you click on the light itself, it will turn uh, them individually. Here is the visor. It's actually hard, but it does feel nice and uh, solid. And there is a mirror. It is actually nice and big, but there is no light. I really wish that they added a light right here. But overall, interior looks good. Nice and spacious, comfortable seats. Passenger is sitting far away from me. And uh, yeah, overall, um, it is a nice interior. Here is a backdoor panel. Backdoor panel has the same design as the front. Mostly everything is finished in plastic just like the uh, front door. The armrest is plastic. Here is a window switch. Door handle feels light but nice and solid. More of that black trim. I love the way how the speaker looks like. Same design as the front. This is finished in plastic which is completely fine. In the bottom there is a decent amount of storage place for the back door. And for the back seats, honestly, there is a good amount of leg room. Headroom is very, very good because of the design of it. And it's an SUV, so 
uh, of course there is a lot of uh, room um, the seats nice and comfortable same design design as a front but there is no armrest I really wish they just added an armrest back here with cup holders uh, I think it's something easy but they definitely cheaped out on that as you guys see you could recline the seats the other one is not reclined as much as this one hopping inside There is two USB type C's back here, a storage place, air vents, and there is a halogen light. It is actually very bright and there is handles all the way around. Even the driver has one, but that's how the front of this Seltos looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2024 Kia Seltos base trim. If you guys are around and if you guys are interested, make sure to come and see Curtis here at Napoli Kia in Milford. By the way, guys, before I end this video, I would like to let you know that I came out with my own uh, detailing products. So I am selling ceramic coating, microfiber towels, uh, tire cleaners, um, and uh, much more. So if you guys are interested in any car detailing products, make sure to check out my website. I'm going to go ahead and link it in the bottom of this video. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, please like and subscribe because it does help a lot. And as always, I'll see you next time.